So, any fire sent it's over, the brick connect, and this is Bluetooth and auxiliary, and it can work with batteries, six of them. And, well, that's only five, but anyway, it can work with six batteries and also rechargeable batteries. Let's take a closer look and see how great it really is. Yeah. So first off, let's talk about it. At the sides, we've got accents on the side, which are like a black metallic look, shiny look, which is where the actual base grills are. Mm, quite small base grills, but it's still good. It's okay, it looks really nice. And then on the other side, we've got another uh, metallic base grill. That's kind of metallic look. Looks pretty stylish. Uh, the top's quite plasticky. It's uh, not very weighty. It's got a nice grill at the top there. You've got one left uh, speaker and one right speaker. Edifier logo there. And it's embroidered on this nice little grill. It's more of a hideaway, put on the shelf sort of speaker. This comes in at six RMS in wattage. And it's not too bad for how small it is. Could be louder. It's got rubber feet at the ends. So basically, it doesn't scratch whatever surface you're going to put it on. You can also use six AA batteries or six AA rechargeable batteries to get longer life out of it. It also is Bluetooth, which is right here. So there's a Bluetooth sign. A light comes on and it's Bluetooth and then it's green if you're connected to auxiliary, which is normal. But uh, obviously you can use it with a tablet, a computer or a laptop and it goes up to 10 meters because it's a Bluetooth device. And then you connect to um, an out power source, which is a DC 12 volt um, adapter that goes into the back. And it's as simple as that. Um, on the top, I'm gonna to tell you really quickly about the, what you can do with it. So you've got an answer call, you can take calls for it. You can hang up by just holding down before the call is actually received. Or if you're on a call, you can just press it once, it hangs up. And then obviously if it's someone's calling you, press it once and it answers. And then you've got power on and off and then volume up and down. Also comes with remote control. The remote control battery inside is a 2035 uh, lithium polyam battery. It also has, I'm gonna put this speaker down so I don't break it. An input so you can go from auxiliary to Bluetooth, power to power on and off. And it's like an infrared uh, control, uh, infrared controller, which is, um, it can go from around five meters. And then after that, then it's gonna be really hard to obviously do that and get the controller to work. So you've got um, a rocker volume on there as well. So volume up, volume down, and then you've got a play and pause button. So you can play and pause just by remote control, especially if your phone call's ringing and you've got it connected up. If you're painting and decorating in the house, I don't know. And then obviously an answer call, you can answer it straight away from the remote control. That's a pretty good function. And then obviously you've got skip back, skip forward. So if you're watching like YouTube or playing music or uh, what's that other thing, Spotify, you can go forward and backwards using the remote control all with this little device. So, shall we actually have a little listen to see what 6RMS sounds like? So, I know it's not a lot, but let's hope it still sounds clear. I've done a lot of, uh, um, I've done a lot of Edifier speakers and they all sound really good. So, I hope this one sounds really good. I'm not gonna be using auxiliary today, 3.5 mil jack that you normally get in the actual box. And then I have two ends that'll be 3.5 to 3.5, so it'll go into the back of this Bluetooth speaker and straight into a device like a mobile phone. It could work with iPhone, so iOS, then tablets and iPads, and the list goes on, etc. etc. And um, yeah, this um, I've got my little uh, micro on the go thing and it's got some music attached to it and um, I think I am connected to Bluetooth so we're going to test it out right now and see what it sounds like. And all the volumes are going to be always turned up to the most because we want to hear if there's any slight dis distortion or any difference of acoustic sound that doesn't sound right, it sounds out of place. We want to hear as much as we can and how enhanced it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
speaker was okay they should have just made it a clock radio it's kind of like it's okay but they shouldn't have bothered kind of thing but they've made edify speakers for everyone i guess and playing at a lower volume would be more sufficient rather than playing at the highest level uh the the, the bass and the beats were very dis well not very distorted they <sighs> They were kind of muffled together as well as the vocals. The vocals were really loud and they were too, the peaking was too high. And then as soon as like the bass and the beat hit together with the vocals, it kind of went, vocals went down and the bass and the beat were kind of more favoritism rather than the vocals. And uh, different tracks were okay, but it was kind of like a, a bit of annoyance of like the sound quality for the speaker. It looked good, it's a good idea. If you're gonna play it at low volume, say you're playing cards or you are got it in the kitchen uh, or you're, I don't know, using it to read books to you and stuff like that, it would be perfect. But for anything else like real hardcore music, stuff like that, definitely no. Six watts of RMS is okay, but mm, I think it would be just more generally suitable as for someone using a, a audio book thing and it's reading to you or you listen to it in the kitchen for cookbooks and stuff like that yeah anyway if you've got this bluetooth speaker tell me what you thought about it obviously affiliate it's uh, linked down below and comment down below if you really like this sort of video if not describe and then obviously not describe oh my god what am i saying let me describe dislike and then obviously explain to me or just tell me a little comment and why you didn't like it and i'll try and improve it make it more better and if you did like it like it and obviously subscribe don't dislike and i'll see you next one thanks for watching bye see you and yeah bye I've waited so long.